Hi guys. So I've had a couple people ask me to show them how I did my floral uh, foil. Um, so I'm going to give it a try right now for you. Um, now, this is uh, the Manny that I just did and I hope you can see it. I just love this. It's beautiful floral. Um, and so anyway, we're going to, the one we're going to do today, uh, and first of all, I'm using the gel, it's McCart's gel glue. Um, that's what I used on mine. And, um, and I'm going to just, you know, be up front as far as that these are the most challenging to me. So, um, so hopefully no issues. So I went ahead and I prepared the, I put a base coat of color on here. Um, and, uh, and I already put the glue on and set it. And so what I do is, so this is the glue, the gel glue. I just put it on like you would, you know, a coat of, like a base coat of gel. Um, and just, so not too thick, but you want full coverage. And then I set it for 60 seconds. And then I like to let it set like maybe 30 seconds or something before I go to put the foil on it. So it's been setting longer than that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this one. And this is also McCart's foil um, and see how we do. So just kind of, you know, whichever part you want, you know, to get. But be careful when you're first pressing it down. I know that's for me is one of the challenging things. So I don't know really where I want to go. I'm just going to kind of just kind of do it. However is however we end up. So I think we'll go there. So like you don't want to try and move it or pull it back up. You know, once you put it down, you want to leave it there. Uh, let me do it this way, maybe. I hope I can do it your direction. It's backwards and upside down for me. But anyway, I just try to press it down good down the middle part from top to bottom first. And if there's any little creases, now I use my fingernail, but you can use, you know, some people like using these silicone tools, um, you know, or... If you have a lint-free wipe that you want to use, if you want to do that instead, I just use my fingers mostly. And then I go and try, you know, press it down on the sides then. Just wrap it over the sides, over the sides, and try and get all your image on there. I mean, this is a little tricky doing it on one of these, but let me see if I how if it's ready to come up yet. There we go. So I think that looks pretty good. You can see that most all of it came off. Um, and so let me look at it this way. See, no, I think it looks awesome. I doesn't look like I need to add anything or do anything different. I really hope you can see this good. I love this. I just think it's gorgeous. And you know, you can like with me, I added, I stamped the hearts, you know, after I did the foil like this, and I sealed it. Then I used clear jelly stampers, you know, layered hearts, and then the script uh, word love. Um, and it made it really pretty and turned it into Valentine's nails. But this really is gorgeous any time of the year. I just love it. And McCart's florals, I think, are e a little easier to transfer than some of the other brands I found. Um, and so anyway, we'll go ahead and we'll do another one and hopefully it'll go as well. Now I'm going to let this set a minute and then the next thing we would do, well, actually let's go ahead and do that. And it can be while we're working on the other one, it can be, you know, setting in the UV light. So by the way, you do want to put this under a LED light. 60 seconds is the time. And I'm going to go, actually, I think I'm going to do a no uh, wipe top coat. So then I don't even have to do that. And I'm going to use McCart's Top It Off. And um, I, there is another tutorial of, out of my videos if you, if you want, you know, to watch that one. And that was when I reviewed the McCart Foil Gel Glue Kit that came with the foils, too. And uh, I saw that they have some new 
floral foils and uh, a new case of them I can't wait to get. They look like they're similar to, to this one here. Sorry, that paper's in the way. But this is by off of Amazon. And these are beautiful florals, but um, and they work. But I like the McCart florals so far better, I think, because I think it's a little easier to transfer. So we're going to go ahead and put this into the light and set it for 45 seconds. I'm going to set that. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start, we're going to do a second sample um, from start to finish so you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to take the gel glue, foil glue, and, you know, oh, let me move it so you can see it better. Hopefully you can see it better. I don't want it in front of that light though. So I'm just going to take it and, and sorry, this is backwards to me. I'll do the best I can. Oh, I know I don't have the ideal setup. Sorry about that, but I try to do the best I can. So let me look at it this way, make sure I got it. Looks like I got it covered good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add this under the light and we're going to do it for 60 seconds. And what I think works better is if I, like I said earlier, if I let it cool for maybe 30 seconds after I've set it for 60 seconds. So there's that one. Hope you can see it good. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's so pretty. I just love it. And this one has a little bit of hollow in there, kind of a lacy hollow among the flowers. So really pretty. And you could add some bling, you know, somewhere on here if you wanted to. Um, but these are really pretty. And as you saw, it really wasn't that hard. Um, but I really do think it makes a difference on what glue you're using and what brand of foils you use, because I think that can help, because florals definitely, to me, are more challenging out of all the foils. Now, in this McCart kit, it came with the solid, you know, kind of hollowy like foils, and these worked really good. And I showed that doing a sample in my uh, in that review on the McCart foil, if you want to look at that. Um, and something else I want to tell you, okay, so this is set, so set it again, is that when I'm not using this, like I keep this in a Ziploc because it, it, it's pretty stinky. Like I don't mind when I'm using it, the smell or anything, but if, well, when I first got it, I didn't know and I had it sitting out on my table and I couldn't figure out what was that smell and it was this. So I just keep it in this Ziploc, little Ziploc bag when I'm not using it and then I don't smell it, no problem. And for the few minutes I use it, it doesn't bother me. But if you have trouble with migraines, that's something you'll also want to, you know, a little tip you'll want to know. I do have a client, I don't have it, thank God, but I have a client that has trouble with migraines and she loves me doing foils on her. So I do this. And so far she hasn't had any problem. It's, she's only, you know, smelling it while I'm putting it on her fingernail and I put it right back in the Ziploc. Okay, so we're just, so hopefully this is going to have enough time to, Cool for about 30 seconds. We'll put that one on there and then we'll put this one on here. So we have the glue ready and I think we're going to do this one. This is also McCart. It came out of this box here um, that I got, did get in that McCart kit and there's some beautiful hollows in here by the way. All kinds of really cool stuff but we're doing this one here. So Let's see, hopefully okay, we can get, and that's what it looks like on the little, you know, thing. So here we go. Here, let me put it down first, my direction. Uh, so hopefully I won't mess that up. So I think we'll go like down that way. Okay, so once again, I'm just gonna press down the middle from top to bottom first, press it down, and then on the side, and then on the side. And it'll be easier to do it on your finger because it won't be trying to move around like this thing is. So I'm gonna use my fingernail just to kinda, but like I said, you can use the silicone tool if you want to, or you can use, you know, whatever. But I think it's already starting to come off. So yeah, I think we're, okay, so let's try. Hopefully. Okay, can I see it this way too? Hey, I think that looks really pretty. I think that's pretty awesome. And that wasn't too hard. And if you wanted to, you could take um, 
Okay, let's grab another piece over here. And let's see if we can get this butterfly off of here. It'd be kind of fun to have a butterfly on there. So we're going to try and take that butterfly right there and add it onto here. So let's, let me look at this and see where I can do that at. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to put it right over here, right over here somewhere. So let me just get it on first. Okay. So there it is. Uh oh, there it went. <laughs> let's try it again. All right, actually, well, hopefully there's enough glue on here so it will stay, but, okay, I'm just gonna go like this and just kind of do it and see, so hopefully. There. Let me see, did I get it all? Okay, that didn't work out as well. So, in that case, so it's good, then I can show you how to troubleshoot. Everything, the first one came out perfect, but for some reason, you know, there might've been something over here and I didn't realize it because it's not one to come off and stick all the way. So then just put some more, you know, foil glue over just that part there. Um, I kind of hate to use, I don't want to take too much time here, but let's see if we can, let's try one more time to see if we can get that little butterfly. So I'm just going to put a little more foil glue right here where the butterfly, the rest of the butterfly I want to go. And let's set it and see if we can get it on there. But either way, it's the rest of it came out on there perfect, gorgeous. We just have a little bit on the edge of our butterfly left that we need to get. So we'll see if we can do that. But this one, really, I've been really happy with, with uh, McCart's floral foil more than any of the other ones I've tried so far, I have to say. And they're not paying me or anything to say it. Um, okay, so I wonder, let me see. Is that the same butterfly? Maybe, I might just go ahead and use that butterfly. I think it's the same one, but anyway, we'll see. Hurry up, light. Uh, so in the meantime, okay, there it goes. I gotta set again. I'm going to show you these. These are just some, I know it's kind of crazy how I have them all on there, but um, this is some I did on some, you know, the bigger nails of the florals. I really like this one too. Really pretty. And here's one with the butterfly. Um, and here is, um, I think these are irises. I think that's what those are. This is the one we're doing right now. That one's a pretty one too. And of course you can see how much it changes it just depending on what base color you use too. So, all right. Now this one here is the same that I have on my nails, the same pattern, but it just changes it, you know, because I put a soft blue behind it, a blue, you know, as opposed to this one I did. Uh, it's called Marshmallow by True Gel. It's a white, soft white. Um, okay, so our thing is done. So let's see if we can get that butterfly, um, the rest of that butterfly on here. I'm going to turn it my direction and just try and do it, the rest of it my way. Okay, so I'll just show you how I have it. Okay, wait a minute. So I have it stuck on there. There it is. And now I'm just going to try and get the rest on here hopefully usually that works if you do for whatever reason like well because I was trying to add it because the original image all of it came off really good sometimes if you're going to add it I don't know if there's like a film left on there from the first time you know the first image maybe that's why but then just add like I did a little bit of gel okay let's see a little bit of more of foil gel and then, okay, come on. Go off, don't. I don't know why it doesn't wanna. That little butterfly is giving me fits. Yeah, he's just not wanting to cooperate. I'm not really sure what the deal is with him, but I guess he was. All right, I cannot get that butterfly to come off. Where's that other one at? I'm gonna try him. Let's see if he works. I'm not sure why that one has been difficult. 
So I'm just trying, same butterfly, just a different piece of foil with the butterfly on it. Just trying to get that to fill in that blue. It's kind of weird. I don't know why it's been difficult. Oh, got it. So it's just that other, you know, image for some reason, other butterfly image. Anyway, really pretty, beautiful, and like I, you know, and you saw that it was really pretty easy to do for a floral on both of them, uh, with the exception of that little added butterfly. <laughs> so now, once again, I would just put my no cleanse top coat. You, you don't have to have a no cleanse top coat. You can use, you know, a cleanse top coat if you want to, but I am using McCart's, and I do like this top coat, no cleanse, called Top It Off. So just swipe down, there we go. And we're gonna set it 45 seconds. There we go. I just, I just, I'm loving them. So those are the ones, um, some of them that I, that I did. Um, that's the one we just did. This is the same one in with a peach behind it. Changes the look. This one's got kind of a butter yellow behind it. Same image. Then this is the same as the nails, my nails, except with blue behind it. Um, and then this is another, um, you know, some roses over the yellow. Really, really pretty. I absolutely love these. I love all, all most of the foils. I love the hollow ones too, but I think if I can only pick one, the vintage florals are absolutely my favorite ones of all. Just gorgeous. And we'll add... Let's see, let's take one of these out, move this one over, and we'll add our new one right there. And there we go. So I will put all the information of what I used in the information box. So please like and subscribe and click on the bell icon so you'll, you'll get a notice on my next new tutorial, which will be probably pr pretty soon. Um, so thanks so much, guys. Hope this helps. Bye-bye.